Hello, welcome to the Friday, April 26, 2019 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. One of the things you probably don't want to hear on a Friday morning, uh, there may be a new WebLogic vulnerability. The reason I say may is because some of the details are a bit fuzzy, kind of well, uh, typical for some of these web logic issues. The obvious part is that we are dealing with yet another deserialization issue. What isn't so clear is if this is actually a new issue, something that has been patched, or if this is just something where we had a patch for in the past, but the patch was incomplete, which also, we had happened with WebLogic before. The original poster of the exploit mentioned that the vulnerability works against a fully patched WebLogic server, but the CVE that was associated with this particular exploit was CVE 2018-2628, which was patched last year. But in the past, uh, we had plenty of confusion with WebLogic vulnerabilities. There are often old vulnerabilities that aren't completely patched. So a different gadget, for example, being used for the deserialization exploit can make it work again. The particular vulnerability is also a bit less severe as it requires the optional WLS9 async response package to be installed. Apparently, there are about 10,000 or so vulnerable servers available worldwide. Rob today continued his series of useful PowerShell scripts to learn more about special accounts in your domain. Today's focus uh, was service accounts. In particular, Rob is focusing on service accounts other than the service accounts that are typically built into Windows. And of course, uh, Microsoft recommends you're using those accounts. These additional accounts, well, often have elevated rights. That's why you often use service accounts. And password policies and updates and so may not always be applied to them. An attacker being able to brute force uh, these service account passwords passwords can usually hope to use the account to access systems for quite a long time. And Rob actually promises to talk more about getting to those passwords in the Friday installment of this series. But let's continue to talk about patching of complex systems on Fridays. Atlassian, the maker of Confluence, a popular wiki software for developers, has recently patched a critical vulnerability. The patch that Atlassian released for Confluence on March 20th patches uh, operator command injection vulnerability that does not require authentication. Uh, this uh, easily exploitable vulnerability is now heavily being used to infect servers with the Gantt Crab uh, ransomware, according to a blog post published by Alert Logic. Now, ransomware bad enough, in particular on something that sort of deals with developers and such. But personally, I think the real threat here is that if you have one of those easily exploitable uh, Confluence servers sitting out there, uh, that uh, someone is actually using a more targeted exploit to go after your developers. So if you find one of these servers infected with ransomware, don't just uh, wipe and rebuild. Uh, do a little bit analysis on the server to figure out if nobody else had access to it via this vulnerability. And Microsoft released a new security baseline policy for Windows 10 and Windows Server. One of the big changes in this document, uh, which is currently in draft state, is password expiration policies. For quite a while now, many entities like, for example, NIST have shown that password expiration and sort of the forced regular password update is actually counterproductive and leads to weaker passwords. Microsoft is now finally following these guidelines uh, that NIST and others put out. So this new baseline will hopefully make it easier for everybody to do away with password expiration policies. 
And later on Friday, I will also publish a new packet challenge, uh, giving away a Raspberry Pi again here. So if you're interested, uh, watch the Sans IAC Twitter feed, and I'll also publish it in various different locations. Thanks, and that's it for today. Talk to you again on Monday. Bye.